Got the, still got the band-aids on. Blisters are healing up pretty good. Hopefully put some socks on at the end of today. Probably looked it was pretty painful, but it probably looked probably looked worse than it was. It still wasn't as painful as having to work or deal with a bunch of fucking pussy ass losers though. For like two years, three years. It was nothing compared to that. I only have like two pair of pants. I just dropped my butt and just broke off on one of them. I don't know how to sew. So you know what we're gonna do? Shut up. I'm gonna use this guy. You know what I'm doing? I can't do it with one hand. But, yeah, it's my button. If your pizza box is too big for the fridge, you just kind of like fold everything up. Check it out. What is the difference between a spice guy and an herb guy? Edginess? Yeah, I think so. Check this out. What is it? Look at that. The whole box in one end. Shebang. Mini fridge. Except. One of the many things you can expect when you're with Amex. I talked to my parents yesterday on the phone and like the interpretation of what how I uh, responded to my situation I think it'll always be to some people that I ran away but when you live in an area for most of your life for almost 25 years and, you know, that it was an area that kind of disrespected me from the beginning. Um, and I said in other videos, I kind of, I worked out a lot. And then people all of a sudden, all of a sudden gave me respect all of a sudden, like randomly uh, at the end of my high school years. And I kind of like forgot about everything, how like people didn't really respect me. Um, I grew up in that area and stuff. Um, but like, you know, when I came home from college and I was in that area, you know, I'd go out to the bars all the time. I met a lot of girls. I had a lot of good time with my friends and stuff. I made a lot of people mad. And the people that I made mad are the same people that that area holds in very high regard and respects. And... They're just like shitty human beings. And I don't know why that area respects those people. I guess that area is how it is. Um, but I didn't run away from that area. Uh, I had no business being there. When I was there my, for most of my life and people were going to lie about me, make up crap that I did. I'm not one to brag. When I went out and I would find a girl at a bar and I would be like, ooh, she's the best looking one in the bar. The people I went out with that didn't like me and would compete with me, they hated that. That's just a fact. They hated that. I was there for that. You know, I, I saw that that irritated them. They verbally talked about how I pissed them off and they had nothing good to say about me. And these are the same people that people want to listen to. Um, I didn't run away from that area. That area is a piece of shit. Um, I didn't do anything to deserve uh, the way people talked about me. And that's why I have no business being there, and I'm going to move on from there. I'll probably go anywhere in the world but that area, because it's a piece of shit to me. 
And that's just it. I grew up there for most of my life. I did a lot of things that were respectable for the most part. Um, you know, I had my incidents where I drank myself to the point where I pissed my pants or I got lost. Um, I've never been in a situation where I woke up after drinking and I felt like I had to beat the crap out of somebody or I needed to beat the crap out of somebody because they took advantage of me because that's never happened. Um, yeah, that area is scum to me. And I have no regret saying it and I don't feel bad about it. I honestly feel bad for the people who did nothing wrong to me, but the, you know, it didn't really seem like when I was going through what I was going through, nobody had much confidence, respect, or anything good to say about me. That's why I am where, where I am. And that's why I didn't run away from that area. I'm not a fucking pussy. And that area is full, unfortunately. Cool thing about this button is I can totally adjust the size of my waist and I don't need a belt anymore.